In this video, I'll show you how to use the captions feature within Microsoft Word to number and label your tables and figures. A lot of people do this manually, but if you use Microsoft Word's references feature to do this, it allows you to generate an automatic list of tables and figures that you can then include in the preamble of your document. Again, the point here is to automate your formatting in your document as far as possible so that you don't need to manually update any numbering within your document. Word will also adjust the numbering of your tables and figures accordingly as you add new tables and figures to your document. So in order to add a caption to your table or figure, you need to go to the References tab. Here you'll see an option that allows you to insert a caption into your document. The best way to insert a caption is to actually select the item that you want to caption, the table or the figure, and then click on the Insert Caption button. So here you'll see a number of options that will help you to format your caption according to how you need it. So the first thing you'll see here is the automatic caption that has been generated by Microsoft Word. You don't want to manually edit this, but what you can do here is add the title of your table or your figure. So I usually add a colon and then include the title of my table, remembering that it needs to be as descriptive as possible. The next option is the ability to choose the label. So as you can see here, Word has automatically generated a label for me table 4-1 but if I want to change that I can change it here and in this section you'll see a number of default labels that Word has made available and you can choose the label that best fits the description of the item that you are trying to caption so because I have a table I'm going to leave it as table but if you have a figure for instance you choose figure if you have an equation you choose equation if you have a box for instance you choose box if the label that you need is not listed here, you can click on the new label option. There you can see that Word has now changed the label to the new label that I just created. I'm going to change this back to table. The next option you see is the position. Here you can choose whether you would like to see the caption of your table or figure above your table or figure or below your table or figure. I usually like to see it above, however, a good thing to do here is to check the formatting requirements of the document that you're producing. So if it's a master's thesis, for instance, check with your department what the requirements are or check your referencing style guide to see whether it requires the caption above or below the figure. The next option is numbering. Here you can choose whether you want to change the format of the numbers and here you can also decide whether you want to include the chapter number or not. So in my caption you'll see that it says table 4-1 and that is because this table falls underneath heading 4. Including the chapter number is really useful if you've got a very long document like a PhD thesis for instance where you're going to include a lot of tables and figures. If you don't want your numbering to go into the hundreds, so table 102 for instance, it's good to include the chapter number because then it'll restart the numbering for each new chapter. If you've got a shorter document, this is not necessary and you can then untick the include chapter number. If you want to include the chapter number, you need to tell Word which style you use to define a new chapter. And in my document, that is heading one. However, you can choose any level heading to decide the beginning of a new chapter. If you have not formatted your document using the styles and navigation pane, then you won't have this option. And if you haven't seen the styles and navigation pane video, I suggest that you go back and look at that now. The next option here is to choose the separator that you want to use to distinguish the chapter number from the item number. Again, if you're not including the chapter number, then this won't be necessary. I'm going to untick this option. If you click OK, then you should see your item number with the caption that you've specified. I'm going to do this again using a figure within my document.
And lastly, again, with an additional table so you can see how Word updates the labeling based on the format you've chosen. There you have it. Being able to generate an automatic list of tables and figures from this labeling exercise is not the only benefit you'll get from labeling your tables and figures. Another thing that you can also do is to cross-reference the tables and the figures within your document. However, if you haven't added captions to your tables and figures, you won't be able to do this. Cross-referencing basically means that you are linking some part of the text within your document to the actual table and if you've used the caption option within Word it means that if the caption is updated the cross reference within the text will also be updated but let me just show you an example of how to cross reference a table within your document suppose you have a piece of text that describes something that is within one of your tables, in my case, table two. What I would then want to do is to tell the reader where to find the information that I've just described. So I could include something like according to table two at the beginning of my sentence, or I could say something like see table two at the end of the sentence in brackets. I'm going to do the latter. At this point, I don't want to manually type table two because if the caption of table two is updated, so let's say I include another table earlier in the document and my table two now becomes a table three, then this text won't automatically update. So what you want to do is you want to go to the references tab again and then click on cross reference. Within this cross reference dialog box, Word will give you a number of items that you can cross-reference. What we want to do is cross-reference a table. So under reference type, I'm going to look for tables. As you can see, Word now knows that I have two tables within my document, table one and table two. If there are more tables in my document, more tables will become available within this list. There are also a number of options that helps you to insert the cross-reference according to your needs for your document. So here you can either include the entire caption, in which case if I want to cross-reference table 2, Word is going to include all this information, table 2, colon, another table with important information. I don't want the entire caption, I just want to say see table 2. In this drop down, I'm going to select only label and number. Here you can also choose to include it as a link or not. If you include it as a link, it means that when the reader clicks on that cross reference, your document will jump to where that particular table or figure is and then you can click insert. So here you can see that this cross reference is in fact a link because I've selected the option to insert it as a link. I'm now going to cross reference the figure in my document just to give you another example of how this can be done. Again, this caption is saved as a link.